Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Welcome back to the Veteran and Rookie Podcast. And we got the rookie here today, along with me, the veteran, after soloing it last episode. I'm back. Through the thick and thin, uh, I made it here, and uh, and you made it back from crane school. How was that? It was good. It was kind of weird. I was the only one there with hands. Um, really? Yeah, all of them could fly, and they made fun of me for not being so able to fly. So, did they teach you to fly, or did they just kind of laugh at you? They, Well, they kind of tried, but they most of the time they were just laughing at me. Really? And it's really weird to see a crane laugh because they're going, <laughs> Yeah, because they got those big beaks, don't they? Yeah. They were all taller than me, too. I, that's the first time that's happened. They were all taller. The first time you've met anyone taller than you? Ever. Dang. My entire life. Like I'm six eight foot feet four. three. <laughs> and Close. I thought you were five foot 11. I'm five nine. And these birds were taller than me. Mm hmm. Yeah. It was kind of like scary, too, because sometimes they like jump at me with their claw. Uh-huh. And it would scare me, and I would, you know, just be scared. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't do anything else, not be, not like that. You would just be scared. Yeah, I would be scared. The action of being scared. Nice. Yeah, so that was a bit traumatizing for me. But I'm it glad was, to have you back. Yeah, it was fun. It was all right, I suppose. It was I all right, I guess. I'd go back. I'd go to Eagle School. You'd go to Eagle School. So why was Crane your bird of choice? I don't know. Or it was, was just, it your choice? No, it's kind of the family business is, uh, is you know... Being cranes. Are your parents cranes? They are, yeah. Um, really? So how'd they get you? Uh, what, Freak accident? What are those things that, that like bring kids in? The Cranes? Bird? No, it wasn't a crane. It's Storks? Uh, storks, yeah, yeah. My neighbor was a stork and his wife. Um, you were unwanted. Yeah. So, football. <laughs> <laughs> Good old football. We just lost any listener who's here for football. I'm sorry, with that. Guys. Let's go. That means the real ones who aren't here are, but if they are here, they're real ones. Okay, let's talk about football. Uh, well, let's recap what happened last week. So for our pickums, since uh, you weren't present, you told me just to go with the the Vegas favorites, and yeah. it started off good for me. I was like four and one. You were like two and three. But as I started going down the list and and tacking it up, it once again was not going in my favor. I went seven and eight. You went nine and six. That's how it is. That's just I'm so, s- too good. Yeah, I have not updated the standings, and uh, I'm too lazy to do it right now. But if the listeners at home want to do it, uh, la- after last week, I was 50, 57, and 1. You were 57, 50, and 1. So then you just add my 7 and 8 record and then John's 9 and 6 record, and that is the current standings. No one wants to do math right here. No one. Yeah, but uh, you're still ahead, and you got, a, what is it, a three-game lead on me? Two game, two more on top of your – so you're, you're nine ahead of me now. That's cool. Uh, this gap is getting larger. I thought maybe I'd have a, a good shot of maybe kind of working working my way around it with the spread. You know, like you're not even picking, so like maybe I'd be able to take advantage of that, but no. Well, I did pick two games. I picked the Cowboys to win, and I picked the Bills to win, and both of them did. Yeah. Well, also, you, who was your – uh, you picked the Lions because they were your upset of the week. My Lions were upset, and they um, didn't upset. They made you upset. I am upset. It was a closer game than I thought it was going to be. I mean, the Lions were up by, what, 10, 14, something yeah, like that? Yeah, they pulled a the Ravens. Point. Yeah. so They did They did Lions things. Lamar Jackson was out on the field that day. Mm-hmm. Except uh, they won their game. They did win their game. Yeah, they mm-hmm. they, they, they beat the Buccaneers, beat who the old you man. picked for your game of the week. I did. It was a good game. It, mm-hmm. uh, what was your game of the week? My game of the week was Giants versus Seahawks. A lower so, scoring game. No, I think it was. No, oh, I'm actually, it, right yeah, now. it was. It was lower scoring. Uh, I feel like that game was a little more exciting though, because like the Buccaneers Ravens game, a lot of those Buccaneers points came in garbage time when it, the game had pretty much already been decided, and Tom Brady was being old and, and divorced and all that stuff. Well, they only won by five. Yeah, but they the Bucks got a late touchdown to make it look better, but they they were never in the game. Well, Tom Brady, remember what you said before the season started? You only trust yeah, one person. Yeah, I was really wrong before the season started. You trust one person. That's different this season. Brady sucks this year. Yeah, he's not even top 10. Yeah. Bad player. We should maybe next episode we should uh Re- like uh, update our rankings. Yeah, mid-season rankings. It is. I think uh, we should do that next. That'd episode. be week nine. So that is mm-hmm. just so just just before. about mid-season. Yeah, just before. Just after. Or just just after. after. I don't well, know. When they made it a seventeen games uh, schedule, that really fricked it up because there's no halfway point anymore. Yeah, but there's still you know playoffs and a Super Bowl, so that is about halfway. Yeah, but. The regular season. Regular season halfway point. We'll do that next week. Look forward to that. So uh, I 
I'll, I'll give this one to you. I'll give this one to you because I gave myself the game last week because it was another close one. I had Falcons, Bengals. You had Chiefs, Niners. Okay. And since that was close, I gave it to me. Uh, so I'll give this one to you. Sounds fair. Blowout of the week. You had Bills over Packers. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. It was pretty good. I'm though. actually, like, as a Packers fan, I wasn't disappointed by this loss because it was the least bad out of the four we've had in a row now. And we actually looked like we had improved as a team. The Bills have had 17 points scored on them in the second half, and 10 of them, or this season, they've had 17 points scored on them. And in the 10 of them half. were this past 10 of them week. were the Packers. Yeah. And I, overall, I'm not that upset about it. I mean, Rodgers had some nice throws, and we actually ran the darn ball. Yeah, you ran it a lot. About time. There, I saw some people complain, like, why are the Packers running? They have Aaron Rodgers. Uh, like, tell me you've never watched a Packers game this year without telling me you haven't seen a Packers game this year. Exactly. Because uh, they need to run the ball because that's pretty much all they can do. Who's he throwing to? No one. Exactly. Except for Lazard's out, too. Yeah, Lazard's out. Um, Dobbs did have a really nice catch for a touchdown, though. Dobbs did have a good and catch. And then yeah. the rookie, the other rookie, um, Torre, uh, he caught that big touchdown there. My favorite Grizzly player yeah, out buddy. of Montana. Um, what was your and blowout? Then my blowout of the week, I almost went with the Steelers or the, the Eagles over the Steelers. I changed it, though, because of my um, fantasy player of the week pick. So I went with another pick I was relatively confident in, the Raiders over the Saints. That that, that went the other way. It really did. It did yeah. not score. Yeah, I think there's been two shutouts this year, and that was one of them. So I'm not going to be picking the Ravens to win, or the the Raiders, rather, uh, to, to do anything like this for the rest of the year. Because what the heck was that? The Saints yeah. aren't even good, and you're just going to just do literally nothing? You have one of the best receivers in the league. Josh Jacobs has been going off. How do you do nothing? Yeah, I'm literally looking through nothing. the weeks, and I can only see one other shutout, and it's the Lions. So mm-hmm. that's The Lions sucks. against the Patriots. Yeah. So uh, what the heck, Vegas? Maybe fire your coach already. I mean, it feels yeah. a little early to fire him, but it feel it feels like there's going to be a few one and done coaches this year, which rarely happens, and I think there's going to be multiple. Yeah, who was it? The Broncos were going to fire yeah, their I coach. Think Hackett. Um, there were rumors that if they lost in uh, London against Jacksonville, that he would get fired. And I guess just left in London or something. I don't know. Um, but uh, they won, so he gets to live another week. Yeah, I hope he loses next week. Because uh, who's he playing? Oh, they have a bye week. I hope they lose. I hope they lose as well. Broncos lose to the bye week. Broncos country, let's lose. That's Broncos his. country, sell high. That's what they sell did today. High. They they sold high? What they, who they yeah. saw? They traded um, Bradley Chubb to the Bradley Dolphins. Bradley Chubb. He's a, he's a pretty good edge rusher, defensive lineman, defensive linebacker. Who they trade him to? The Dolphins for first. Hey, good for them. Yeah. Miami's starting to look kind of stacked. They are. If Tua would stop running the ball and getting like brain injuries, you know, that'd be cool. Mm-hmm. So that's two points for you now. Upset of the week. Neither of us got it. We already talked about you had Lions over Dolphins. Didn't I had Cardinals happen. over Vikings. Cardinals have had a chance, uh, but they're the Cardinals, and so they can't capitalize on diddly poo. Yeah, it was an eight point game, and mine was a four point game. We neither of us get that still. Yep. But uh, I was fantasy closer. player of the week. Ooh, baby. I'm three and oh in this category now. I know. AJ I Brown went off. I don't know his exact points, but he had like 40 something. In our league, he had 40. I'm going to kill to myself, clarify. though, because I traded him. And before anyone roast me in the comments, I know it was a bad trade to trade one of the best wide receivers. But I, w- I only had one win, and I was like, if I can, I was trading away two players uh, that were like one really good in A.J. Brown and one in Travis Etienne, who was good before he becomes the number one running back in Jacksonville and now goes off every week. Um, I saw that. I saw a video about him. Actually, Literally, he's like- had his two best games the next two weeks after I trade him. Um, and then, and I got... I got some good players in there too, but uh, no, I, I lost this trade big time. Yeah, you got your good running back, which is uh, I got Leonard Fournette, who my, his first game put up five points because they lost to the Panthers, mm-hmm. and then uh, who else I got? I got Adam Thielen, who was fine, uh, and I got DJ Moore, who has put up like thirty points the last two weeks on his bench on my bench. Uh, <laughs> I'm not good at fantasy football. This is only my second year, so I'm I'm, I'm just like also, a glorified rookie. I'm also bad. 
I'm doing yeah, I am ahead of you in the standings now. I am number eleven out of twelve right now. Yes, and I am number nine out of twelve. Yeah, so, let's go. Uh, we yeah, both missed the playoffs right now. Yeah, the guy that that Benea traded his uh, players to. He's gonna be on the podcast at the end of the month. Gonna be on the podcast the at the end of the month. He's an Eagles David. fan, so he's loving it right now. Oh my goodness, he's double, and he's got uh, uh, Hertz as his quarterback. So and the Eagles defense. Yeah, he's having a good time. He's having a great Both time. Both in his real and, life team and in fantasy. And in fantasy, in our league, it's a little bit higher scoring. Yep. But he got over 210 points. Absolutely bonkers. Yeah. I think he got like 215, 216, something. Uh-huh. And then the, who, the Parker, who he was playing, it's like he broke 100 points. He could double his points and still lose. Yeah, I think Parker had like 105, 110, something like yeah, that. Yeah, which he... He that's good. Fine. That's a good score. That's more Better than, than I, I got. I, I got like 87. Yeah, I still, still won, won, though, because I was going against the number 12 team, and he had three players inactive. Yep. Uh, now they're all active. And catch another break. Him. Exactly. Um, oh, that's fun. Your fantasy play of the week was Cooper Cup. I think he had another 20 or something like that. 23 points or so, um, 26, I think it was. So a good safe option, but n- no, nah, not enough. And then lowest scoring game. You went Cowboys-Bears. That was the highest scoring game of the week. I'm okay um, with it. Close. Uh, and then <laughs> close, you're really close, buddy. And then uh, I went with the easy pick, Jags Broncos, and uh, I'm not sure if it was the lowest scoring game. I think Texans Titans may have Texans, been Texans Titans or or uh, Commander. No, not Commanders Colts. I think it would. No, have been. It, it was Saints Raiders. Oh yeah, 24 it was total Saints, points. Saints Raiders. It was 24 total points to the yeah. Saints. So uh, so you take that category, but I do lower. take it because it was a lower scoring game. For sure. So let's see. You got one, two points. I got one, two points there. The Cowboys have more points than the entire Jags and Broncos. Together. Checks out. Oh, together. Together. She's Louise. So that puts the standings. I'm a little closer in this one for our draft. I have 11 points. You have 12. Mm. So. You, you know, are closing that same, gap with that, our new category. I, I am. I'm, I'm liking this. Wait, we have five categories now, don't we? Mm-hmm. And we have, there's only, what? I think there's 13 games this week or something. Yeah. So with a good number of teams on by, most of the the games this week, we're going to have to hit for our draft. Oh, oh. it's going to be rough. I'm, I'm confident in it, though, I'm which is a bad not. sign because normally when I am, <laughs> I lose. Um, and I'm still just one week behind you in the pick If I have a good week, you have a bad week. Um, yeah, but I'm not confident in that happening either. But uh, yeah, but we're not going, you know, back and forth with picks. Though we're usually exactly staying, it's pretty similar, and then having a couple. Deviations. And then whenever I happen to differ, I lose. So which is kind of cool because you had like the total chance to differ on everything last week, and it did not turn out well. Hey, I I liked that I got the Ravens over the Bucks though. So at least I I started off one and zero. Yeah. All right. Good if if I was only picking Thursday games, then maybe I'd be beating you. Thursday games are all bad, though. Yeah, but I'd be beating you. Eagles Texans is going to be good. I oh think. baby. Yeah. Um, I think that takes us to our fun draft. That does take us to our week. fun draft. And uh, so a couple episodes ago, probably about a month ago now, we had uh, our food combinations draft, and as normal, I drafted exquisitely. Um, but somehow, <laughs> somehow, somehow, John still managed to beat me. Even though peanut butter and chocolate or is whatever I got. Peanut butter didn't. and chocolate and like bread and chocolate. And I like just chocolate mood. chocolate and anything. Yeah. Or no, it was like Somehow noodle. I lost. It was like uncooked, Spaghetti, spaghetti and Nutella. Noodles. And <laughs> <laughs> uncooked noodles and potato starch. Uh-huh. Yeah. So you had a couple of really good choices there. I had a couple of better choices. But apparently John wants a rematch in it now. I decided I want a rematch because Benea had a... Uh, a hard I, had a, time. I, I was close. I'm gonna actually. I'm going with a similar strategy as Benea went with last week, and You're going it, with only chocolate combinations. No, it's just a similar thing there. It's like a similar. It's like a. It's it is congruent with itself. The, all of my players uh, that oh. I'm thinking of with the first overall pick, I'm going oil and water. Okay, we gotta flip a coin for it though. Oh, I wasn't actually going to. That, that oil and joke. water. That's me and women. Don't mix. For real. You're gay. Uh, well, I wouldn't say that on the podcast, but I am gay. Oh, you want to flip the coin? I'll c- catch it. Okay. Here we go. Uh, the, what are you, are you calling it? I'll call it in the air. Heads. You did not catch it. <laughs> heads, heads. No. That's actually tails. Oh, well, we have to turn it around. No. Okay, let's do that okay, again. We're doing it. Let but I'll, just, you want to flip it? You know how to flip I'll, the coin? I'll flip it, but I, I'll, I'll, I'll have flip to drop it. my... Heads. Heads. 
Wait. Uh, you... <laughs> what? Okay, one more time. Okay. You gotta, you gotta okay. call it. Third time's a Third time's charm. a charm for me, hopefully. Okay. Hopefully I'll win. Tails. Ah. I hate you. It's Tails oh, for yeah. those of you listening at home. Golly oh. gee whiz. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. Dang it. Oh, yeah. How many, uh, how many rounds are we going? Uh, let's do five again because I think five's a good amount. Five's a good amount. Okay. Um, you know what? I feel like... I feel like picking salt and pepper is just not cool to do I that I feel again. like we should differ from anything we had last time. I think those are all off the board. For the most part. I feel like we, if you feel, you know, there's something spicy that you really want to get, it's like, you There's know. so much food, though, that, like, you should Yeah, but you repeat. had a really hard time. Shut up. Getting three. Make your pick. I'm going to go, I'm going to go bread and butter. Bread and butter is a good one. That I mean, that's up there with salt and pepper. That's it really in that is that elite category. I mean, is there a saying about bread and butter? I don't know. I think there is. That's my so bread. It goes and butter. together exactly. Win- there you winning go. It, the pickums is my bread and butter. I'm gonna go um, meat and potatoes. Meat and potatoes is a solid. One. Are we doing snake? Sure. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. Whatever. Meat and potatoes, and then uh, next round, I'm gonna go chicken and waffles. Chicken and waffles. That's a good one. Good protein. Yeah. Oh, golly. Golly gee whiz. Gee willikers. What is it? It's your turn. No, no. Oh, Jiminy Cricket? Jiminy Cricket, yeah. (laughs) What is it? Your turn? (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to go. Okay. And and I'm going to need to explain this one just a bit. But I'm going to go with bread and cheese. Okay. Now stop. Stop the cap. Look. Grilled cheese. Boom. Bread and cheese right there. Okay. With your bread and butter. With my bread and butter. Grilled cheese, bread and butter, double down. Pizza. There you go. Breadsticks. What? No. Yes. That's no. Yes. Okay, they, but it's only cheese pizza. Yeah. Like you don't get to put tomato sauce on it. It's literally just. No, no, no. I'm, I'm saying as a combination because if you only had, it, it doesn't necessarily include that, but it is there as like, yeah, it's on pizza. You get cheese and you get bread and then there's, you know, tomato All sauce right. there. But... All right. Uh. I'm going to go in a similar vein No, you're there. not, because it's yes, my I turn. Am. Well, I will when it's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, what's your similar vein? No, you have to go pick. ahead and tell no, me. No, you pick. Okay. I'm going to go chocolate and milk. That's a good That's a good pick. You can just go chocolate milk. No, I'm going chocolate and milk because there's chocolate cereal. There's chocolate you can put in stuff. There's milk chocolate. So is that just anything chocolate with milk? I think uh, overall, like if, you, if you're not doing too much of a stretch. Yeah. Like a... Like not a chocolate chip cookie. No, no, no. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't either. I good, would also not say that. Good thing we don't say that. Uh, I will, I'm going to go with uh, cheese and crackers. Cheese and crack. That's a good one. That that's a, a good one. one. But and I then, will argue crackers are a form of bread. They're not. They're, they're different. Un, they're unleavened bread. I. Okay. They're crackers. I hate you because I'm right. Yeah, and I still have it, so... But I also have it. Saltine crackers are different enough from white bread. Yeah, but so is pizza crust. But white bread and pizza crust are the same. But the pizza crust and, and crackers are not. Because of yeast? That's a big enough differentiator for me. And then I'm going to get a dessert, snaking back around for my fourth pick. Mm-hmm. I'm going cookies and cream. Cookies? Ah, that's a good one. Mmm. Dang it, man! I can't think of uh, I can't think of one that you haven't said. Now I'm having a hard time. I got now. all the food combinations going. You my got way. all of the food combinations, every single one. Hmm. Dang, man! The draft clock is going down. Draft clock is going down. Dun, dun, I'm gonna dun, go dun. strawberries and chocolate. Oh, that was my next pick. Strawberries and chocolate are a really good combination, just on their own. Overall. Yeah, just dip them into chocolate. Great tongue. value pick. Great value pick. I think they're really yummy and delicious. And really yummy. Really yummy. That's my that's my opinion on that's them. your that's your analysis. Hmm. Where are you going in the fifth? Oh, this is difficult. Who's rounding out your draft? You're gonna call me weird. You're weird. Okay, continue to call me weird. You weirdo. Keep keep calling me weird. I like it. You weird, <laughs> stupid, and dumb, and ugly. Stop, and I hate stop, you. Stop! 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 It's hurting my feelings. Okay, I'm gonna go water and salt. For like when your mouth is bleeding, and no, 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 like, in things like you can't make bread without water and salt. You just you're just breaking stuff down to like the most minute stuff, and you're like, I have everything now. No, no, look, water and salt go in everything though. 
If you don't have salt, okay, yes, you but you don't. Water. That doesn't mean you get everything. It means you get salt and you get water. Fine, I'll go flour and salt as because they go together and they make. You're just gonna things. have flour and salt together, and they're you're just building gonna eat blocks. It. They're building blocks. Yeah, that's all it's it is. They're just building blocks. You're just gonna eat a. It, you're you, just ever, gonna you ever eat seen Mason? like Food Network where it's like this is your specialty item, but you get a bunch of items to put around it and make a dish. You're just you're just getting ingredients. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Salt and pepper are ingredients. You're just gonna eat salt and pepper. I guess. You just gonna eat bread and butter? Yeah. Sometimes. You're dumb. Listen, I'm better than you. <laughs> Shut the frick up. You're, was, you're crumbling. What was your last pick? What was My it? last pick, uh, since you took strawberries and chocolate, I'm gonna go chocolate and pretzels. That's so bad. That's not a mid pick. That's a good that's not last good. round pick. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. You know that's wrong. <laughs> well, do you want me to make a new pick? Pretzels are bread. <laughs> Fine. I'll make a new pick then. You want me to make a new pick? No, you took okay. that already. Okay. Fine. What, would, what would your pick have been though? Well, my, my next pick would have been uh, biscuits and gravy. Ooh. That's a good one. That's my UDFA. I picked him up undrafted. So. Ooh, ooh. How about, how about, well, let's link us some together now. It's just cause, because we, we picked ours. Let's think of some better ones we could have picked. Meat and potatoes is a good one. I like mm-hmm. that one. In the same vein, I think, um, I think eggs and potatoes for breakfast. So like hash browns, you could oh, have like yeah. the cooked potatoes. Um, you could have you know a scrambled egg with some hash browns. You mix it up with some oh chocolate and peppermint, chocolate and peppermint. A lot of people don't like peppermint. Really? A lot of people don't chocolate. Like, uh, what is it? Those little like Mintos or whatever. The yeah, a lot throw them in the freezer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A lot of people don't like Oreos either. Uh, what the heck? Oreos are literally my favorite store cookie. No, the uh, the mint Oreos. Excuse oh, me. Oh, okay. Because they they say it tastes like uh, like. Toothpaste. I like toothpaste. I also like toothpaste. I just guzzle that stuff down. Bacon and eggs. Bacon and eggs. How'd that go on drafting? I don't know. Sausage and bacon. Mm-hmm. Peanut butter and jelly. Milk and Did water. we hit PB and J last time? I think we might have. I think I got that one. I we feel like we probably did. Spaghetti and meatballs. Spaghetti and meatballs. Another bang. Oh, butter and popcorn. Buttered popcorn. Oh, man. We suck at this game. Ooh, popcorn and a drink. Salted caramel. <laughs> popcorn and soda, dude. <laughs> just pour burgers your pop- and fries. Oh, dude, we're t- terrible at this. Are you looking through? Are you looking on like WebDMM? Or Web I'm MD? on foodfornet.com. That's where I got all of my draft choices. Oh, from. I was looking at somebody else's draft board because I can't think of anything about broccoli food. and salmon. What? <laughs> broccoli and salmon. I, mean, I, good. That, I don't. I wouldn't draft. I wouldn't that. draft it, but it's yummy though. Um, I have a cotto toast. So guys, let me in the. I was in the, thinking in the about drafts in that about. one. About how I uh, had a good comeback this week. Oh, ketchup and fries, yeah. Freaking stupid, ugly. We're so bad at this. Pickles. You're supposed to be the chef, boy. peanut butter. <laughs> what the <laughs> heck is that? The peanut butter sandwich with pickles on it. Save that and send it to me, and I'll put it in the video. Oh, that's that's nice. Yeah, it is. Here, let me let me save this. PB and, PB and P. P. Peanut butter. Peanut butter and pickle peanut sandwich. Peanut butter and pickle sandwich. We should eat that on the podcast next week. Okay. Um, when we have David on the podcast, we could just tell him like this is what we do every episode. P P and P P and P P B peanut butter P B and P P oh not P P P P B and and N P P and G P P and G P P and G. Why is why is there like a bunch of it's like fries and honey? What is that? Popcorn and milk? Question mark. What? Yep. Right Popcorn there. and that's those are French fries, but. Nope, oh whoa! Popcorn and milk. Popcorn and milk. Um, Dude, I think we're missing out on some good combinations. Really though, I think other people. Oh, cheese is just such a good cheese and other cheese. Cheese and more cheese. Yeah, pop tarts like, and cheese. Uh, again, we both Cheerios kinda... and hot dogs. If you're Russell Wilson. Yeah, dude, he's a he's fantastic cooking. cook. Dude. How do we still miss like the big the big dogs? The big dogs, yeah. I don't know. I we, think I, I think I did win that one though. Oh, uh, well, I don't know about that. I definitely did. I don't know about that. I though. Uh, I don't think you're, you and I shot. The what? Personally. What did you say? Get wrecked. <laughs> get, get wrecked, noob. <laughs> get punked. Get pwned. Pwned. Um, I think that takes us to our How about uh, these nuts? our draft of the week. Ooh. That's, that's, a good, a, that's a good pick. Good combination. Good combo. These and nuts. Mm-hmm. All right, let's get this draft out of the way so I can beat you. Okay, so last week, so I would have had first pick last week. Mm-hmm. But since you were gone, you got first pick for everything. Okay. So I think I should get first pick this week. I don't think that's how that 
You got to still pick everything, though. Sure. Okay, fine. We'll just we'll go with we'll we'll, we'll do we'll, we'll go the way it's How been going. How about screw you? Okay, screw me. Yeah. Do it. You won't. Uh, what are you picking first? Uh, okay. What what uh what are our categories again? So our categories for those of you who may not be aware, we draft uh we draft games as if they are players for a position. We got five positions as it were for them. We got the best game, the biggest blowout, lowest scoring game, upset of the week, and fantasy player of the week. And then once uh one game is off the board, anything that has to do with that is off the board. So for instance, if the Chiefs and the Titans go for the biggest blowout category, that means I can't pick Patrick Mahomes as my fantasy player of the week. Yep. Or anything like that. So, and I'm gonna start things strong here. I, well, what I think is strong with best game, I'm gonna okay. go Bills Jets. Okay, I think it's gonna be good. I think it's gonna be. Bills. I think the Bills are gonna wipe the floor with them. Really? Yeah. I think. Did you gonna... see the Jets against the Patriots? I didn't. Oh, they weren't very good. Okay. Well, they're six and one. So, the Jets. Oh no, it's like five and, and three. They're five and three. I think the Bills are six and one or seven and one. The Bills are something. I was tempted to go Eagles, t- uh, Texans. For your best game? Yeah. Are you reading off of like your biggest blowout list? No, I don't have a list. Uh, those those games are both on my biggest blowout list. Um, <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> okay. Best game. Um, I had a tough time choosing like a best game. Uh, but going through it, I was like, you know, Chargers, Falcons looks like it could be fun. And so Not that's where I'm though. going. It's not gonna be good. It's gonna be fun. Yeah. Well, I think like that could be like a thirty-four, thirty-one. I think that's that would I mean, you'll make it a good game. It'd be better than the the Bills blowing out the Jets. I'm okay with whatever happens as long as the Bills win. I hope I hope the Jets blow out the Bills. It'd be a good game though. <laughs> uh, speaking of blowouts, uh, since uh, I, I'll just take one of your favorite games this week: Eagles over Texans. Mm-hmm. Yes, please. Yeah. Fair enough. Domination, Houston against Philadelphia. Yeah. That's all I have to say. I don't have anything else to say about this game other than it's going to be another Thursday night classic. Yeah. I'm going to go for biggest blowout. I'm going to go Vikings well, over to. Commanders. Okay. Because I think the Vikings are a good team and they, they're – what was their record? What's the, they're they're five, what, 6-1? and one? The, Really? Yeah, they've only lost one game. Shoot. I, they're better than I thought they were. Yeah, record-wise. But on the field – you give them the eye test, and they're like, eh, I don't oh, know. Oh, but they're way better than the Commanders. Commanders are on a three-game win streak. but th- Yeah, but they have beat you know the Packers, who are bad, mm-hmm. and other teams who are bad too, right? Mm-hmm. right? I, I haven't been paying attention. <laughs> I, don't pay I attention. mean, I had that as an upset of the week, commies over Vikings, but you go ahead and swoop in there, take it for biggest blowout. I will do that, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I could see that going – for like a, an upset of the week or biggest blowout for sure. Uh, mm-hmm. Depends what version of uh, Kirk Cousins we get. And I believe it is a Sunday Sunday game at 12, so we're probably going to get good Kirk Cousins. Ooh, 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 I get to go. I get to go. Oh, buddy, you get to go again. Best player. <laughs> You're going to go fantasy player. player of the week? Yeah, and I'm going to take I'm gonna take Mahomes. Cause oh. I'm going to take Patrick Mahomes. Dang it, I was saving that game for later. I know you were. That's why I'm taking it. So I think Patrick Mahomes is the second best quarterback right now, debatably for the first. Yeah. And he scores high every week. So mm-hmm. I think he'll do that again. And quarterbacks usually outscore everyone else. Mm-hmm. And I think the only quarterback who's going to outscore him is maybe Hurts, maybe Josh yeah, Allen. Yeah, Hurts. I could see that. Yeah, I, either of those guys. I don't think Jackson's going to do it this week. Mm-hmm. I just... He's not. He hasn't been doing it for a little bit. Yeah, he, wise. he was. He was a candidate for the MVP. Not anymore. Mm-hmm. I don't think. I mean, he could still turn around. He's only had a few bad games, or just. I don't even know if I'd call them necessarily bad games, but kind of just like average games. Yeah, you can't play average and be an MVP though. That's, yeah, that's the thing. But you know, you you have hot streaks and cold streaks and whatnot too. I suppose. Um. Well, that's my player of the week. I think. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna be. That was on my. That was on top of my draft board for the upset of the week: Titans over Chiefs. Ooh. Because the Titans have given the Chiefs some issues in the regular season. I was going to go. Last year, the Titans beat the Chiefs. I think it was last year. You want to guess the score? 200 to 7. Not quite. 27 to 3. 
Jeez, dude. Was was that the first game that, that Patrick Mahomes never didn't score at least 10 points since uh, high school? No, that was the Super Bowl. <laughs> that sucks. Um, but yeah, the Titans have kind of had their way with the Chiefs, at least in the regular season. The Chiefs did beat them in the playoffs a few years ago when they went and won the Super Bowl. But even as far back as 2017, the Titans were beating the Chiefs in the playoffs and whatnot. So I... I think the Titans kind of have the Chiefs number, and I wouldn't be surprised if they win it here. It's not that it matters for me, though, as uh, I can't pick them in my upset of the week. For my fantasy player of the week. I was actually tempted to pick this game for, for best, best game. Best game. Titans are on a five-game win streak uh, as long as Ryan Tannehill comes back. Mm-hmm. Chiefs have only lost to the out. Bills, and who else did they lose to? The Colts. <laughs> That's right. They <laughs> lost to the Colts. <laughs> Oh, Fun times. Jonathan Taylor was killing it that game. He wasn't. Yeah, and now and now Jonathan Taylor's just like a mid running back. Yeah, he's worse than like Eno Benjamin. He's like maybe a top ten running back this year. Mi- no. Not even fantasy wise, just like in general. I don't think so. He's like maybe top ten. He has he has he's been hurt and when he's been on the field, he's been fine. Yeah, the uh what's part. the Eagles new running back? Or not the Eagles, the uh Seahawks, excuse me. Oh, uh, Kenneth Walker. Kenneth Walker, a rookie this year. He's been running real good. He's been crushing it. Mm-hmm. He's doing better than Jonathan Taylor. Speaking of running backs that have been crushing it recently, Stop. my fantasy player of the week is going to be um well, I actually got a couple like to pick from here. <laughs> you were like <laughs> speaking of running backs that would crush it. I I actually well, don't Well, I got know. I got two here. I, I'm going to go I'm going to go Aaron Jones. Uh Packers running back, they're playing the Lions, who can't do anything on defense. That's fair. So I'm feeling confident about that and uh, Jones going off. My other option, I was tempted to go Travis Etienne, now that he's the main guy there in Jacksonville. They're playing the Raiders, who also don't have a very good defense. But if I have an opportunity to pick a player going against the Lions defense, I'm going to take it. Yeah. And especially if Green Bay keeps running the ball like they did against Buffalo and they just keep giving it to Aaron Jones, I think he could break off some big runs, have like 150 yards, three touchdowns, something like that. Jeez, dude, that'd be crazy. I'd love that because I would win this category probably. Mm-hmm. Maybe uh, maybe I should have gone with uh, Derrick Henry, but he hasn't been kind of as much of a, a beast as he is in the last Except year. against the Texans. I saw a thing today, a stat that um, – Players in since 1960 that have had 200 yards and I think two touchdowns in a game. There's three players that have done it three times. Derrick Henry against the Texans has done it four times, and Derrick Henry's done it six times total in his career. Dang. So the just, homeboy owns Houston. He owns the Texans. Those are his. Because he did it again. Actually, no. I don't know if he had two touchdowns. If he did have two touchdowns, that means he did it a fifth time, though. Because that was... That's that was before Sunday's game. Dang! So I know he had two hundred, like a two hundred and eleven rushing yards. So I did see that he was just owning it. So I guess uh, next time the Texans are playing the Titans, I'll take Derrick Henry for fantasy player of the week. <laughs> yeah, 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 you remember that? I probably will. Um, when are they lowest playing? lowest scoring game. They'll play sometime later this year. Oh, okay, yeah, because they play twice. Um, Lowest scoring game is where I'm going to go. New category. Debuted last week. I'm 1-0 in this category, just like I'm undefeated in Fantasy Player of the Week. I'm going to go Colts versus Patriots. I was going to go there. Ah, Where are you going to go now? Uh, I'll go Raiders-Jags. Yeah, that's fair. I feel like that's more of a game, though, where it's like kind of two bad teams, and so that almost like neutralizes the fact that they're bad, and then they're each going to score like 30 points. Yeah, but where else am I going to go, right? Because there's, there's Ravens, Saints. There's... I mean, I was thinking about going, if you took Colts, Patriots, I was thinking about going Rams, Bucks. I thought about it, but I think they're going to score more than the Raiders and the Jags. Yeah. Because even if only the Jags Depends score, which Jags team and which Raiders team shows up. Yeah, maybe we get a bad Raiders team and a good Jags team and they blow them out, you know, 24 to, 24 to 0. That's still only 24 Again. points on the board. I'm all right with that. Cause yeah. Because the the Raiders lost to the Saints and uh, Saints aren't that good of a team, so I, mm-hmm. I think it could happen. Yep. And uh, what's our last category? Is that the our last category is the upset of the week? Where are you going here? Mm. I don't love my options that are left. I don't love them at all. I actually hate them a little bit. But yeah. I'm gonna go Rams over Bucks. Is that an upset? I would think so, and if not, I'll go Bucks over Rams. <laughs> okay, because <laughs> I think both these teams are kind of just eh. They got exactly it. like th- this is a rematch of a playoff game last year that was, you know, the Rams were dominating, then Brady 
you know, tied the game up late in the fourth quarter, and then that's when a Cup had that big play downfield to get him in the field goal range at the end of the game. Mm-hmm. Like, it was a really good game, and now both these teams are just... Yeah, they yeah. both have two really good uh, receivers. The Buccaneers are three-point favorites, so yeah, the Rams would uh, the The Bucs have the a underdog. really good receiver and a really good tight end. Uh, Who, the Bucs? Yeah, or no, they don't have a good tight end. I'm thinking of someone else. I'm thinking of the Niners, but they have a really good receiver. They have multiple really good receivers. Well, theoretically, I mean, um, Mike Evans. Chris, Chris Godwin's been hurt on and off throughout the year, so he hasn't really been the same. Mike Evans has still been really good. Like Mike Evans is like low key a Hall of Famer. Yeah, he's been in the league since 2014. And he's had a thousand yards every year since then. Yeah, since his rookie year. Like they both have a really good receiver. He's been dominant. They both have two pretty good defenses. Rams have two of the best defensive players in the league right now. Mm-hmm. And nothing else on defense. And nothing else, yeah. But um, So when Ramsey gets burnt or Donald gets blocked for more than two seconds, you can do whatever you want pretty much. Yeah, they've been double. Most people have been double blocking Aaron Donald. Except most of the time gets, that doesn't matter. Still gets through him. Uh-huh. <laughs> Crazy, man. But, uh, but I mean, one of these teams has to win. One of these teams has Unless to they win. tie, but I don't think they will. I don't think they'll, they'll like, tie. I think Brady's still a better quarterback. Yeah, because Stafford's been hurt. He's even, also thrown a lot of picks. Even this season, I think like the day that they play, I think this, I think he'll be a better quarterback. But Cup is a better receiver than. Um, yeah, than I could Mike see. Evans. I could see the Rams winning this one like twenty to twelve. Yeah, I I, I I'm getting similar vibes as uh, like the Packers when they played the Bucks earlier this year, mm. where that was fourteen to twelve, just like ugly football just because both these teams should be good neither of them are i'm gonna call it right now i'm gonna say that cup's gonna run the ball three times and throw it once oh you think he might good uh do what uh christian mccaffrey did last week no but he'll sure try he'll 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 try <laughs> he's not a, i think running backs do better in the receiving role than receivers do in the running role oh yeah I mean, it depends on the running back, but yeah, most most running backs you need to catch nowadays, just because it's such a, pe- a pass heavy league. Mm-hmm. I think the the running backs that catch are more useful than uh, receivers who can run. Mm-hmm. And then for my upset of the week, um, I mean, I already said you took two of my top picks. I'm gonna go with a team that's that's kind of doing hot right now against a team that's not doing hot. I got the Panthers over the Bengals. Okay, that's because I mean the Panthers should have beat Atlanta. They shut down the Bucks, literally held them to three points, and so you know, and especially as long as Baker Mayfield's not the quarterback, and they got P.J. Walker in there, and he's slinging it and dropping dimes to the end zone like he did yeah, late against the buckets, Falcons, dude. He was. Crazy. I mean, Patrick Mahomes, I think, said something like, "That's the best throw of the year." That it was a really good because he throw. I think he was moving to his left. He stopped, hucked it deep, and then um, DJ Moore had two guys on him and still kind of beat them and like reached out for that that. Ball. Yeah, but that was on the throw though. That was an actual, oh yeah. If the throw was any worse. I even, I don't care who you are. Like as a receiver, oh, yeah. I don't think you could have got that with two people like pressing on you. Like mm-hmm. they were. Closer than I me mean, they weren't really. Pre- Falcons were actually playing that kind of lazy, but well, no, there was one guy right on top of him. Yeah, and there was one guy trailing. So see if it came short, mm-hmm. but that that was just. An it was pretty throw. similar to the um, Amari Cooper catch that he had uh, on Monday night. That wasn't a touchdown, but it was. We were talking about it. Um. Well, when when we were watching the game, Amari Cooper for the Browns. Oh he, yeah, yeah, he yeah. Had those two guys on him. He kind of just got enough separation there and reached out for it. Crazy catches. Yeah. We're seeing was, some really good football this year, but we're also seeing some garbage. We're seeing I think we're seeing more bad than good for the most part, unless it's the Bills, the Jets. Or not the G- the oh. Jets. The Bills, the Chiefs, or the Eagles. I don't know where I got the Jets from. They've been better, but um Yeah, yeah Panthers over the Bengals. Bengals What happened? What happened, Bengals? Bengals, you let the it's the Cleveland Browns. Let the Cleveland Browns be you, Bengals. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's our picks for the week. I think I, I feel all right about mine. It's just there's a lot of less games, and I feel mm-hmm. yeah. There's what one, two, three, four, five, six teams on a bye. Oh. Is there is there as many next week? Um, I can check here. There's two. Four, uh, there's four six, next week. Eight. Yeah. Okay. So there's. 
So yeah, varies. There's four, then four. When's the last none. week of buys? Fourteen. Um, I think so. I because th- I think the Packers have a week fourteen. They do buy. have a week fourteen buy. I know that for sure because I have Aaron Rodgers yep. on my stupid. So I think week team. week fourteen is the last bye week. Yeah, and it's kind of a big one. So. Hmm. All right. Yeah, I feel. I feel. I feel like my team will do what my team is there to do, and that's win. Your fantasy team? No, my pickums. Oh, okay. I was gonna I, say, because fantasy team doesn't do that. My fantasy team's not gonna win unless it's th- any other the other leagues that I'm not in with you guys. Yeah. All right. You want to lead us in our uh, in our pickums of the week? You're gonna ask me to lead them, you in prayer. <laughs> you wanna, John, you want to lead us in prayer please before we do the these bills. pickums? Please help the Bills win. Please help me get all my picks right all this week. All my pickums right and all of bananas wrong. Yeah. All right, Eagles Texans. Who do you got? I'm going to Eagles. Dude, a, no way. That's a in crazy In a close pick. one. No, it's actually going to be in a blowout. Eagles are going to blow them out. They might shut them out. Maybe. Probably not, but they might. Are you going to go with Texans in this in your game of the week? No, stop. Go away. Hey, Eagles are only 13-point favorites. Only. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Colts-Patriots. Colts-Patriots, my low-scoring game of the week. Uh, I'm going to go Patriots. I'm going to go Colts because Matt Rousseau – Mac Jones is an awful quarterback. Yeah. <laughs> I saw a bunch of clips of him today. Like, he had like four dudes open. He ran out of the pocket and he was about to get sacked. And he's like, he had time. He had like two or three seconds and there was a dude wide open. Like, he needed a yard. And mm-hmm. There was a dude wide open. He's like, I'm here, boss. And then, and then he threw it right past him to the <laughs> defender and, get, uh, and he got picked off. He's so, evolving, but backwards. Yeah, and Bailey Zappi's only good for two drives. So Bailey Zappi's just a Mac Jones clone. So I think he's better than. But Mac the Jones. Colts have uh, they benched Matt Ryan because he's been awful. Matt Ryan. So now they have awful. Sam Ellinger as their quarterback, who Go is off, Sam Ellinger, who is fine, I guess. I didn't watch the game against Washington. I didn't but, either because I didn't care to see bad football anymore. So uh, yeah, there, there's a reason this is my low scoring game of the week. What's up next? Uh, we got Packers Lions. I'm gonna go Packers. I'm get sure off the get off the Schneid. Get off the Schneid. I'm surprised you didn't pick this as your upset of the week. I'm gonna go Lions because they score high, unless they yeah, don't. but their defense can't stop us. So, so or you anybody. Will, so. You guys will maybe score more than two touchdowns. Yeah, maybe Rogers will get more than twenty points in fantasy. Oh, that might be nice. That might be nice. Chargers Falcons. Chargers Falcons. Uh, let's see. Where was I going? I already made a bunch of my picks, and they're just like not loading for me right now. If it helps at all, I'm gonna go Falcons. Uh, I'm going Chargers. Okay. Bills Jets. Bills Jets. I'm going Buffalo, Jets. and you're going Jets. <laughs> I'm going Bills for my best game of the week. Nice. And Vikings Commanders. I'm going Vikings because that's my uh, blowout. I'm going Vikings as well because it's a safe option. Because they're a good sense. team. The Commanders. Bengals winning. Panthers. You had Panthers winning this. I one. do Panthers in the upset. I don't know what happened to the Bengals last week. What happened? They Bengals just didn't show up to the Browns. Why did you Halloween. do that? On Halloween night. Okay, if you guys don't get that, you need to go. You get need to go it. download TikTok. Go download TikTok, and it just starts that. scrolling. You'll probably find it eventually. Yeah, you'll find it if you like football. What happened? I'm going Bengals. Uh, I think they're a good team. I think they're better than they're playing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I keep saying that Bengals they're... are still seven point favorites. I think they can do it. And if, the... I mean, if the Panthers had beat the Falcons, they'd be first in their division. <laughs> what? Yeah, if they had made any of those kicks at the end of the game, Panthers would be first in the division. In the playoffs, if the playoffs had started today and they win, they'd be in. And they just lost McCaffrey. Maybe McCaffrey was the problem. Obviously not. He got <laughs> 40 points in fantasy. And the Panthers are almost undefeated without him. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the frick up. Oh, okay. What's their next game? Raiders-Jags. I had Jags winning this one, right? You have the Jags? Oh, no, did I? No, you just oh, had this, this as your scoring. low scoring game. I'll take Jags though. I will take Jags because the Raiders are what are they? Two and two and six. Two and five, two and, and five. the Jags are two and six. Yeah, both really good teams here. Uh, I'll I'll go. You know, I'm gonna go Raiders just to change it up. I need to get like, like the a few separation games on you even and, more between us. Yeah, exactly. With all this separation, it should even out, right? What do you mean? Because we're separating on a lot of these today. Yeah, it should even out theoretically, but you know, it doesn't. It doesn't though. So, but even if it does the even out, I'm still maybe nine ahead of you. Yeah. All right. Uh, Dolphins Bears. Dolphins Bears. This was another game I had for possibly an upset of the week. 
Um, Chicago's just been really weird at the trade deadline, though. Like, they traded two of their best players, and then they traded for somebody, so they're buyers and sellers. Um, I don't know. I'm going Miami. Yeah. Miami's I- buyers, they just got a... They traded for a running back and a uh, defensive player, so... Didn't they get one of them from the Bears? Mm-hmm. Or actually, no. Did they? No, they... Uh, Roquan Smith went to the Ravens. Whatever. I'm still taking the Dolphins because two is a really good yep. quarterback. He's not um, the smartest when it comes to uh, he's a winner preserving your body, but he's a winner. And he's got more wins than Joe Burrow than Joe Burrow or um, Justin Herbert. Really? Yep. Like even been out for three weeks. Mm-hmm. He's got more like career wins. Oh, career because w- they're because the, they're all 2020 drafted quarterbacks. What's the what is so their win percentage? I don't know. Don't more, ask me. Don't more, ask me that. More to the more, more to, to the Miami. Team, uh, all right, Seahawks Cardinals. Seahawks Cardinals. Um, let's see. Where where are you going with this one? I don't know. I'm gonna wait for you to say something. Well, I'm waiting for my phone to load. <laughs> uh, I'll go Seattle, but I could see this going either way. I think I'm also gonna go Seattle just because I don't. Think the Cardinals because I good. don't like the Cardinals and I love calling them. Re- I like, had a bad feeling about them going into the season, and I was like, ah, I feel like that's not right though. But it was right. Yeah, there's a reason Antonio Brown posted that, and that's because he's mentally insane. He should go play for them. <laughs> <laughs> He'd fit right in, dude. I really want him to join the league again. That'd be awesome. Oh, you'd you'd get a jersey and everything. I would get a jersey. Signs would, with the Bills. Uh, oh. Tears that team apart. No, he wouldn't. <laughs> no, they'd just kick him. That'd be funny. They'd have two. Well, he actually almost got traded to the Bills. Um, a while ago, like 2019. And then he said, frick that, I don't want to go there. So he went to the Raiders instead. <laughs> <laughs> and then was there for no games. Yep. And then went to the Patriots for one game. And then was like, oh, I'm in trouble with the law. See ya. And then he went to the 2019 Bucks. 2019 was a wild time. And then he walked off field because he didn't feel like playing. Because mm-hmm. his ankle hurt. Something. Jeez, dude. What's our next game? Rams, Bucks. Speak about the Bucks. Oh, speak of the Bucks. Uh, I'll the Bucks go... would be winning right now if they had Antonio Brown. I'll go Rams. Uh, I'll. I'll mm, I don't know actually. Uh, Your upset of the week was Rams over Bucks. So. Oh, I guess I go Rams. <laughs> <laughs> you should make the Bucks. That way, you're guaranteed to get at least one of them, right? <laughs> you know what? You know what? Freak you, but uh, you're going Bucks. No, I'm not. I'm oh, you this. should do it. They're Bucks and Rams. That's kind of funny because there's like a Ram and a Buck. Because like, like, like a Buck, like a, like a Ram, like a male Ram, like a deer, called a Buck, or a um, deer, I guess too. But like Bucks and Rams. But it's that's not pretty buck. funny, John. It's good one. Though. Good, good one, John. Because like lambs. And no, stuff. I, I, I heard you. Do you understand the? Yeah, funny? I, I got it. Titans, Chiefs. <laughs> Titans, Chiefs. I'm going to go Titans. Even though I couldn't pick it as my upset of the week, I'm still going Titans. You're stupid, I think. Unless, okay, I will say this, unless Ryan Tannehill doesn't play. If he doesn't play, my pick will automatically change to the Chiefs. But if no, Ryan's, wait, shut the yes, mouth thing. No, yes, you can't I, do that. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, I just you, said I can. You can't, so though. If, but if, editing this later, you if know Ryan that Tannehill, that's wrong. If Ryan Tannehill plays i choose the the titans if he doesn't play and it's malik malik willis or whoever else at quarterback i reserve the right for that pick to go over to the chiefs okay it's entirely dependent on Ryan. that's fine as long as i can reserve the right that if the chiefs lose i pick the titans no because i'm doing this before yeah i am too no this is before him this they they haven't played yet if the chiefs just pick the chiefs if the chiefs lose what i'm doing is totally fine no, it's not. Yes, it is. Th- no, that's because this is in advance, in advance, so we have to pick now. That's why we do it now and not Thursday Well, night. this is going to go up on, on Wednesday anyway, so. Okay, you have until Wednesday to change your answer then. What do you? No. Yeah. No. Yes. I, because I don't know if Ryan Tannehill is going to play till Sunday. Exactly, so you have to pick. No, I'm you, I'm reserving the right to okay, do that. I reserve the right for. This is my podcast, dang it. I'm making the rules. Shut the, no, it's not. It's You're in my house. No, it's my. I gave our, you that shirt. Our po- Okay. <laughs> what the heck are you doing? You can't do this. Yes, I can. No, I can, and I did. If 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 the Chiefs throw less than two touchdowns, that's I reserve- no, no, because my pick is locked in as soon as the game starts. Same. Like really, Ryan Tano could come in, take the first snap, which counts as a start for him, and then not play the rest of the game, and it means I pick the Titans. <sighs> It's entirely dependent on that. 
You that's not fair though. What do you mean it's not fair? It all Be- totally is. This is Tuesday. We're picking on Tuesday. Yes, and I have no idea if Ryan Tannehill's playing or not. Exactly. If he's so playing, I want to pick the Titans. The you have to take it. You Shut up. I'm to- right. <laughs> Thursday night, Monday night. Raven Saints. Where I are you going? plays and then they get blown out. Okay. But I still don't respect this. I hope, I hope he doesn't play and then it moves over to the Chiefs. No, you can't do that. I just did. You can't. Mond- are you picking the Chiefs or the Titans? I'm, <laughs> I'm picking the Titans unless Ryan, Ryan Tannehill doesn't play. Okay, sweet. Ravens Saints, Monday night. I hate you. I'm picking the Chiefs. <laughs> I, I want the Chiefs because I know they're going to win. Okay, go for it. They're going to win. They're going to win if, if Ryan Tannehill doesn't play. They're going to win if he plays anyway. Okay, go for it. You're Ravens, stupid. Ravens, Saints, Monday night. I want the whatever team. Where are you going, wins, I, reserve, <laughs> I reserve the right to if if Lamar Jackson doesn't throw at least four touchdowns and run for two more, that I pick the other. That team. you can't do that though, because that's dependent on events of the of the actual game. That's dependent not before the game. No, no, that is in the game. If he takes no. a snap, that is in game. Okay, yes, yeah. If he starts the game, yeah, yeah. Not if he throws eight touchdowns. That's that's in the game. That's in game. Shut up. You know you're wrong. Yeah, but you know you're wrong too. No, you I know, know I'm this right. Is sketch. No, this is sketchy. No, it's you, not. You can't pick. You can't. I'm gonna text you. Why are you trying uh, to argue with me over a thing that's gonna screw me over in the end anyway? Because <laughs> it's not fair. You can't do that. No, you can't. It's, the viewers can hold me accountable. All of them. I I want the Patriots to win then. Ravens only, only if shut Bailey up, John. Zappi are you picking on Monday snap. night or not? I'm picking the Ravens. I'm also picking the Ravens. Okay. <laughs> stupid. No, yeah, it's it not. Is. It is. It's not. It is. I reserve the right to change my pick Nuh-uh. up until the Nuh-uh. day that they uh, up Nuh-uh. until the first. It's literally, snap. literally. I can't do anything about it right now. Like I already have it locked in, loaded. No, you it, don't. Though you, yes, have, I do. you have a flipper going on. <laughs> if if your flipper decides to flip, then it's a different team than what yes, you but pick. The, you have a fifty fifty chance. Pick one. Don't be like I'm going to sit a, in the there's middle. There's a good chance that Ryan Tannehill plays. So but pick if he, the Titans because if he doesn't play, I have no faith in the Titans. It's entirely dependent so on the pick quarterback. The Chiefs. No, pick one. I you did can't not pick. I picked the Titans. Like, you can't be like <laughs> <Unless>. okay, <laughs> okay. We're the Bills. We're dra- trying to draft a new quarterback. I want, I want Josh Allen, but only, only if he plays well in the next three years. No, because it has nothing to do with how good or bad Ryan Tannehill plays. That if he does play, it has though. not exactly. But Just if he plays, still, I don't care if he sucks. As long as he's in there, that's. T- <laughs> and as long as the Titans win, I'm picking them. The, the, <laughs> I, I, I'll do the same thing. I'll make that game move. You're going to go Titans? No, actually, I want Chiefs. I still okay. want Chiefs. I still okay. want Chiefs. I okay. Want Chiefs Sounds good. Sounds like I'm going to lose it anyway, yeah, so you just wasted like How do you feel about wasting all your time arguing with me just to lose Because me? you're going to pull this bull crap another no, time. It's, you no, are, You are no. going to pull it. Yeah. Okay, probably. But <laughs> okay. It's not bull crap, Cooper though. Cooper Cup is hurt. He has an ankle injury. If he doesn't play, I'm picking the Bucks. Okay. Also... There's other players that are hurt, and I want if I pick their team, and then if they're not what playing, do you mean? yeah, no, look, it's no, before it's, the snap, no, before uh, the snap, yes, no. if they play in the game, I want every what? player if they don't have a star player playing and they're hurt and they're not playing, I want the opposite team. You're just going what I'm doing. And you're just going. You're taking it to the most extreme level I'm possible. Showing you how stupid no, you are. because yeah. I'm not going extreme. It's literally dependent on one thing. Okay, then just one game. If they, if my whoever it may be, whoever loses, and they have a out and they have a player out, like then I don't, don't know why you're. Um, did you just pass gas? <laughs> I farted. <sighs> you can't be mad about that. Yes, I am. Okay, well I'm mad about you picking this stupid. I know you are. Fine, frick you. This is We're over. getting a divorce. I'm done with this. Bye. <laughs> okay, guys, let us know how good we did. And uh, <laughs> I don't know how to end a podcast. All right, guys, that's our pickings for the week, and yeah. that's overtime. That was us arguing, arguing about uh, me still losing, probably. But uh, oh, well, we'll cheating. S- we'll see you guys next week. Make sure you tune into it. See ya. Love you. <laughs>